Hey guys, what's going on? Tom here from Going Back Games, and today we are back with another Pixar tutorial. Today we are doing Vanos Gaming. So this design was by Predator34619. All credits go to him, and big thanks for letting me use this design to show you guys it. So, I haven't seen anyone attempt this, or even, well, I was about to say anyone attempt this or do this. Anyone do this or attempt this. It's pretty simple, it's not his actual Minecraft skin because he, I don't think he has one yet. Um, but it's more of a skin based on his GTA 5 character. Which is, is still, I think, equally as cool and you'd be able to recognise it's him, I guess, if you were one of his fans. So anyway, all you're going to need for this tutorial is white wool, red wool, grey wool, black wool, light grey wool, birch wood and oak wood. So yeah. Let's start off, we're going to do the front first, so we do an 8 long line, 2 high, like that. We then do another 8 long line, but with red wool, and we double that up again. And what we're going to do is we're going to build it up 9 with grey wool, and we're going to build that up all the way with each one. Oops, so I'm a bit quiet in this tutorial, but I'm trying to concentrate, I guess, um, because I've had some issues recently with sound syncing, and I'm trying to time everything perfectly so that it's easier for me to sound sync everything so it's better video for you guys, I guess, um, because I know it can be quite tricky trying to watch a tutorial if the sound sync is off, but I'm trying my best with it, and hopefully this video is alright. So anyway... What we're going to do next is we're going to count two in, or three in, should I say, place a black wall and then four. On top of that black wall we're going to place a red wall, on top of that red wall we're going to place a black wall, on top of that black wall we're going to place a red wall, on top of that red wall we're going to place a black wall. Next that black wall we're going to go across one. Now we're going to leave it like that for a second. And what we're going to do is we're going to build the red wall on each side up to level with this too long black line. Now what we're going to do is I'll in fact give you a second catch up if you need to. That's what it should be looking like right now. Now what we're going to do is go up diagonal on each side and then do the same again. Like that. And I'm going to go up diagonal once more and bring it up three on each side. So this final line should be four long. Like that. Then these gaps at the side, we're then going to bring, um, we're going to use red wool. And for this section here, we're going to use light grey. Now after I finish this, I'm going to pause the recording because I do not like recording when there's rain. Um, I know it's really distracting. So I'm going to pause the recording and I'll get back to you guys when it isn't raining. That was kind of bad timing, I guess. So yeah, I'll be right back. And I'm back guys, so this is pretty much what we're looking at right now, the rain has finally stopped, it took a whole day and a whole night to go away, but it's finally gone and I can restart recording again. So this is basically what it should be looking like, I'm going to give you a second to catch up if you are a tad behind, I said tad, I don't know why, um, and anyway, let's move on. So where's grey is here, we're going to build out four, and we're going to build a layer on top. And we're going to do the exact same on the opposite side. We're then going to do three layers of red wool on each side. Bear in mind it's four out, in case you don't know the uh, skin dimensions. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. So four out, and then three high. And for the birch wood, it's uh, four out, two high. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do a layer of white wool, layer of red wool, layer of white wool, three layers of red, and a layer of white. Now again I'm going to repeat that on the other side, so white, red, white, red, 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 white. Again I'll give you a second to catch up if you are a bit behind. I'm trying to go as slow as possible now in my videos seeing as a couple of you guys feel that I go too fast and I want to try and be able to make my videos accessible for everyone so I guess I'll just slow them down a bit. So anyway yeah, 
if you need to pause the video right here or right here there you go and you'll be able to catch up okay so moving on I don't want to waste too much time on this um, well not my time but I don't want to waste too much of your guys time so what we're gonna do is build two we're gonna do the sides first we're gonna um, two three and three high of white we're then going to do two red and two to the side like that. We're then going to build the grey up till we meet the hand. And we're going to repeat this on the other side. So two white, three white, three white, two red and two red like that. And then grey up to the top or not up to the top but up to where it meets the hand. Okay for this hand we're going to build a 4x4 four four platform like what I'm doing now out of birch wood and bring it up one layer we're going to do the exact same on the other side so it's a 4x4 four by, four by 2 I guess um, and yeah that's his hands so now what we're going to do is we're going to bring it up in line with this and it's basically the exact same as the front with the patterns so free red white red white free red white so nothing too complicated and then for the shoulders it is just white so let me try and do this as quickly as possible to not waste your guys time again if you still feel I'm going too fast definitely comment below because I'm willing to try and I guess please you guys I really want to please you guys I put tons of effort into these videos and I want as many people to get a benefit from it as possible because what's the point of making a tutorial if no one gets anywhere with it and it's a waste of time because it's wasting my time, it's wasting your time, it's wasting everyone's time. So if you feel I'm doing something wrong or you want something different then please comment below and I'll try and sort it out. As I said with the sound syncs I've tried to fix that and hopefully this episode will be the first one where I can master it because I've tried a new technique this video but if you are finding any issues definitely comment below criticisms always welcome here so anyway that's the sides again pause here if you need to I'll go around the sides so you can pause there you go uh, now we're going to do the back so for the back it's free high with white wall across the line of eight like that then it's one row of red, grey up until we meet the hand plus one layer. So let me count that out in a second. So we do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine grey wool. Like this. And then from here until the shoulders it is just pure red wool. That is pretty much the body complete. Now we've just got the head left. The head is pretty simple, so I'm not going to waste too much time on it. Again, I'll give you guys an opportunity to catch up for the body before I move on to the head. But, yeah, we're moving through this pretty quickly, I feel. And we'll be nearly done soon. So I'm just going to fill this in. You don't need to fill this in, but that's, I just like doing it because it gives me a better building platform. So I'll just sweep around the body once lo one last time I guess well not one last time because I'll do it at the end but one last time for now okay so hopefully you guys have caught up and are ready to move on so what we're going to do now is we're going to do the front of the face then I'll do the sides and then I'll work my round to the back and the uh, top so what we're going to do is where this black block goes out we're going to go up diagonal and bring it out to then we're going to do an 8 long line times 2 until it meets this other black block. So it should look like that. So 2 rows up diagonal from that. Okay, right in the middle, so we're going to count in 3 each side, at place 2 oak wood planks. Then we're going to do a layer of birch wood, like that. We're then going to do 2 black and 1 on top like so. 1 grey and 1 grey one grey and one grey down diagonal it's kind of hard to uh, commentate what I'm doing with the glasses it's more of a visual thing I guess it would be easier if I just built it and showed you what to do rather than trying to talk you guys through it and potentially confusing you even more so as you can see what I've done is 
three black wall like that, two grey, four black connecting, go down, cross one, up diagonal one, and then fill the gaps with like, oh, not light grey wall, dark grey wall. As I said, that probably confused you more, so totally ignore me if it does, but that's what it should look like. Okay, what we're then going to do is we're going to build a layer of birch wood on top of that. We're going to count in one each side and build another layer of birch wood. Each gap each side will be a black wall. The next layer is solid black wall and the layer after that is also solid black wall. So that is the front of his head complete. We're now going to move on to the sides so I'll give you a second to catch up if you need to. Pause the video right here and yeah let's move on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to extend this birch out until it overhangs the back by two uh, like it overhangs the front by two. We're then going to meet where this two black is here and extend it by three and bring it down one like that. We're then going to go up to the side like up diagonal and we're going to go down diagonal four times I believe and it should end up like that it should meet the bottom block that is the last block that overhangs I guess now under this black outline we've done place birch wood planks and above it place black wool so this is his hair and the side of his head again I'll give you a second to catch up if you need to Okay, so that's what it should look like. Now for the back, it's pretty simple. Again, let me just extend this out quickly. For the back, we just do a layer of birch wood for the first overhang part. Then birch, so two birch, four black, two birch. Then for the rest of this, it's just solid black, so seven up with black. So the dimensions for statue's heads, by the way, if you didn't know, is uh, eight by eight by eight so the bottom row and seven up okay so now for the final side of the head before we go on to the actual top let me just give you a second to do that if you need to it's not too much not too hard I guess just solid black wall with the two birch so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up diagonal from here and we're gonna do that four times or three times should I say because the fourth one's already done then we're gonna go down diagonal and down one and extend it two to the side like that now it's the exact same as the opposite side uh, that we did a second ago so it's just black wool on top of the black outline and birch wood below now if you do need time to catch up for this side then feel free but I'm gonna move on quickly the only difference is grey wool instead of black I believe yeah Okay, so for the top, the sun's going down, so I want to try and speed this up a tad. Black is just solid black wool, so an 8 by 8 by 1 area of black wool, like that. Now, the one thing we are missing, so what we do is we count in two, place a black wool like that, next row place two, next row place two, next row place one. We then add that, so it's like a little quiff, I guess. And what we do is we extend it right across the head. So just a single row there, a double row, a two by two in the middle, and then a one by eight, I guess you could say. It's one one block two tall and eight long, like so. So that is pretty much it. I guess if I look at the front shape, you'll be able to tell what to do. You just make it go all the way to the back of the head and then you are pretty much done. So what I'm going to do is sleep quickly so you can see it in brightness, I guess. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for the tutorial. I don't know why I spawned looking that way. Um, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Let me go into no hand mode, no hand mode, so you can uh, see it one last time as I fly around. Pause the video whenever you need to. And yeah, that's it. So this design was made by Predator34619, as I said. It was shown off in his world tour, which you should have seen Monday, I believe, if you're watching this. Um, or it should be coming out soon, 
like I oh know this one will come out on the 2nd of May if it's to schedule and the world tour for his world will come out on the 5th of May so if you haven't already well if you're watching this today it's come out um, go and definitely watch the Predators world tour when it comes out I'll link that in the description and yeah so definitely message him um, he does some awesome work and you'll see other work from him coming soon so anyway thank you for watching again this was a quite unique tutorial i guess i haven't seen many people do this so i thought i'd jump in there take the opportunity and provide you with it so thank you for watching i guess if you haven't already subscribe and leave a like if you found this at all useful or enjoyed anyway until next time i've been tom thank you for watching and goodbye chest, train my mind so I forget, sink your teeth into my bones, dig me out then fill the hole, tear me apart.